What's good YouTube? Daybreak748 coming back at you guys with yet again another figure review. Today we're going to be taking a look at Shielder from Fate Grand Order. Now, don't know too much about this particular character. I know she was in a movie, I guess, a couple of months ago to promote Fate Grand Order. Um, the only thing I know about this particular character is from that particular movie. So, I'm super excited. The anime is coming out. And also, if you guys did not know, um, a new mobile game came out and it is on Fate Grand Order. Now, I have to give a big shout out to uh, one of my close friends here on YouTube and on Instagram, Min the Otaku. I think that's how you pronounce um, his username. But yeah, he has some amazing artwork and he told me about this particular game and I have been hooked. So I am actually using Shielder in my game. Not sure if she's any good, uh, but yeah, definitely we'll check her out and see what she has to offer. Now with that said, let's get on to the actual figure review. So first thing that she comes with is a instruction manual. It's in Japanese and in English, so you can have either way. She also comes with the standard Figma goodie bag. She also comes with the standard rack of hands. Now something you're going to notice here, uh, Daybreak, where are all her other hands? Unfortunately, she doesn't come with any additional hands. She comes with these open palm hands, she comes with these gripping hands, and she comes with the closed fisted hands that she has, her, has on her at this point in time. She also comes with the standard spare uh, joint, just in case you happen to snap Yours, good smile, has you covered. So that's pretty awesome. All right, moving on to something pretty freaking amazing in my opinion. You get the stand. Now you might be like, Daybreak, what's so amazing about this? Well, you get one stand for her, and you get a second additional stand for the actual shield. Now honestly, does the shield require you to have a stand? The answer is no if you're gonna have her pose like this, but of course if you want to have her displayed with her shield kind of in action, then yeah, you're definitely going to need that extra stand. If you are planning to pose her like I have her right here, then you're not gonna have any issues. Now, how does this work? She comes with a spare little tiny tiny joint. So it looks like this. This piece right here clicks on well this piece you just peg into the the actual stand and this clips on to one of these rail pieces right here so that's how you will have her um, holding or the stand holding the actual shield another thing that I love that she um, that good smile has incorporated it's this piece right here and I think this is the first time I've ever seen them actually do this they've given us a clamp piece for the actual figure. Now I've always wanted something like this instead of this right here. I mean yes this is fantastic if you want to have them in like dynamic poses but it's really difficult sometimes to put on to the back of her uh, well this peg into the peg hole on the back so I've always wanted stuff like this but hey sure enough they've included it and I think that's pretty freaking amazing. All right, moving on to some of her other accessories. She accessories. She comes with this like wounded face with one eye closed, and she comes with this screaming face with her mouth open. So that's that. And then so moving on to the last accessory, I guess, it is this awesome awesome looking shield. I love it. You see the I don't know what this is, but some lettering here. If someone could read that and let me know what that stands for, if it means anything, that would be amazing. I love just the attention to detail with even these little pieces right here. The matte finish on the gunmetal paint that they used here is pretty epic. And yeah, overall, it just looks great. On the back side here, fully painted, fully sculpted. This piece right here can move. So, you can have her hold it whichever way you like. The peg right here, this thing, pegs onto 
the rail right here. So that's how that works. All right, so now on to Shielder. Now Shielder, pretty simple character design. I mean, she has this armorized dress thing going on. She has these awesome leg armor, whatever you want to call it. Her boots look great. I love the dual color scheme that she has going on here. She has this purple and this dark like gunmetal type of um, paint, so that's pretty awesome. Her hair is this nice pink, so that looks great. And her eyes have that, I don't know, this very glazed look. I think that's the best way I can um, explain it. But yeah, overall, stunning job by Good Smile Company. All right, so articulation, standard stuff. Heck can go up that far. If you do that though, you're gonna see reveal that ball joint. So it's a little ugly, but whatever. Can look fall all the way down. She can pivot. Her arms can go out. Bicep swivel can f go full 360 if you wanted to. She has that Figma joint in the elbows. She has full articulation in the wrists. Um, she does have an upper diaphragm joint, so that's that. Waist swivel, uh, not so much, I don't think. So that's lacking, but it's okay. Her legs go out that far before the sides of her dress kind of hinder. The Figma joint right here for the legs, for the feet can go not too far down, that's surprising, and not too far back, so that's really, really interesting. She does have the pivot here, but that's pretty much it. And lastly, she does have a thigh swivel that's underneath this actual skirt piece. All right, so real quickly, guys, uh, overall thoughts, I think this is a pretty standard figure. Um, I think having just this figure by herself is just like eh, it's okay not nothing too crazy but then when you include this awesome shield that's where good smile kind of raises the bar so with that said is she a must have the answer is no if you guys are a shielder fan then definite if you're a fate stay night fan definite fate grand order you guys know the gist yeah this is a must have but if you're just a figure collector and you wanted an awesome figure this one is a pretty awesome figure but hey it's your personal preference so with that said guys i'm gonna get her in a pose i'm gonna just pretty much swap out the hands and you know what let's do it on camera mine as well right so very simple you pull off the hand and one thing that you don't want to happen is what just happened right here uh the peg actually came out with the the hand and that is not what we want we want the hand to come off so guys i'm gonna do this off camera i'm gonna have to heat this up and that's annoying but whatever it's not broken so don't stress be back in a few and we are back we have shielder with her sword in hand and she looks phenomenal once again so real quickly a quick tip for you guys if you if that happens to you guys if the peg actually comes out with the actual hand what you want to do is run it under some hot water pull off the existing hand, put the peg back on, and then put the gripping hand on. Now, another little side note is the fact that some of your hands might be very, very stiff. The plastic might be very, very stiff. So, what you wanna do there is take a blow dryer or hot water, it's fine, whatever, and you heat up the plastic, and then you put the hand in, and there you go. Don't force it because you can definitely break the peg, or not the peg, the the piece of plastic that she's holding on to or you can break her actual hand so be very careful with that and with that said guys once again this is an amazing figure i'm really really happy with it uh, you guys know i'm a huge fate stay night fan and fate order grand order i'm sure i'm going to love as well so with that said guys thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy day to stop by and watch this 
particular video. If you like what you saw, please leave a thumbs up. And yeah, with that said, guys, if you have any questions or concerns, leave it in the comment section down below, and I will get back to you ASAP. With that said, guys, this is Daybreak Sound 48, and I'm signing out. Peace out, guys.